Hi guys, this is Steve Darcy with Go Engineer. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions on Network License Manager, uh, moving servers, upgrading the client or the server, and then uh, just regular initial installs. So hopefully we'll cover all those in this, this session. So let's get started. Um, I've gone ahead and downloaded the media. Uh, you can get to this if you've gone to the SolidWorks website, started to run the setup, and we'll dismiss that. In the installation manager, you can hit download all the shared files. That will actually download everything, uh, flow, PDM, all that good stuff. And it'll get to where you can just install everything that you need. Uh, also, if you copy both of the DVDs to one directory structure, that's pretty much what I got here. So you can run this under server products and just say install SolidWorks Network License Manager. You can go straight through doing this. But if you're an IT guy, you don't want this big, huge 13 gigabyte uh, file out there. What you can do is just copy this, the SWLICMGR. This is the folder where the license manager resides. And it has its own installer and everything. So uh, for your IT nerdy guys, I'm just going to go through this light uh, installation. So just double click on the setup. It'll run you through a little wizard. It's pretty quick. We'll just hit next. Uh, next, put your serial numbers in here. Uh, make sure you put a comma in between the serial numbers, okay? Uh, it doesn't matter if they have spaces or no spaces, uh, both of them will work. Uh, and if you have six, just make sure they're separated by a comma. We'll go ahead and hit next. I'll just use the default location. It's a very light install, only takes a minute or two. Um, we do support multiple versions. Let me go ahead and finish out of this. So. Say, for instance, the Network License Manager is running 2018, which is what I'm doing right now. And I'm going to go find it. Now, it, it is a little bit tricky uh, because if you have SolidWorks installed as well, then you'll actually see a client and a server install. And notice my Windows 10 is kind of cutting that thing off. So make sure you run the server component. Uh, when you run the server, you can check the version. Uh, notice this one's going 2018. I'm going to go and activate my licenses. Uh, I do have a firewall installed. Uh, this port number, this is going to be used for the client. I'll just select them all. And it's going to go up to the cloud. It's going to go to the SolidWorks server, pull those licenses down, and put them on my, my, my local server. Uh, you'll only have to do this once. Once this is up and going, uh, you can actually shut off the internet. Everything's going to be uh, local or into your intranet. So I have all my licenses available. If you hit finish, this is actually the license manager. Uh, if you run the client, you won't see the server administration tab. So main point, uh, make sure you have the server administration tab if you're gonna change or modify some of the licenses and stuff. All right, uh, you can check if you got a license usage. You can select on the different products and you can find out how many licenses are available or if people are logged in or, or not logged in using up licenses. All right, if you go to the about, then you could see what uh, version and service pack. Uh, you may have to get with your tech support guys on what the version is. In this case, 2018 uh, is 26, 26.1. So the dot one is service pack one. So everything looks good. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, talk about moving. So I have this, it's all up and going. Everybody's connecting to it. It's on this local server. Uh, I can upgrade this while the clients are actually running. The clients will actually only connect uh, the first time they run SolidWorks and then about every 8 to 13 minutes, some, some weird little random number in there, it actually goes and pings the server and makes sure the server's still there. Uh, we can do an upgrade within that amount of time uh, before it actually starts kicking people off or, or discontinuing their licenses. So uh, we also kind of went out here to double check on this. Uh, does SolidWorks Network License support multiple versions? So if I'm running 2018, and the answer is yes, then I can actually be running SolidWorks 2016 or SolidWorks 2015. Uh, the One of the tech guys said that it's really only supported for three versions back, but I know that I have some clients that are running uh, about five versions back, and it still does work. So uh, once... Uh, main point is get the network license manager on the latest version and uh, you don't have to worry about the other groups that are still on 2017, 2016, that kind of thing. 
All right, so if we are moving servers, I do need to get the licenses off of this server. So I'm gonna go into the modify, and then I'm gonna move the licenses, hit the next button a couple times, and what's gonna happen is the licenses are gonna go back up to the cloud on the SolidWorks license server, and then I can install this piece of software on a new server, and then activate them, and that will pull it down uh, to the new server. Now also, same thing. Say for instance, I just bought three new licenses and they're not showing up. I go in here to my products and my licenses are not showing up. Well, the reason for that is that I haven't reactivated. So when you purchase your licenses, if you buy them before about 3 p.m., then uh, we, can, we can post them to the SolidWorks uh, license server. And then what will happen is in the morning, uh, try and wait till about 10, 10 a.m. because the uh, the license server has to actually pull and recreate the licenses for everything. Uh, but then what you'll have to do is activate your licenses. And then what this will do is it'll go back out to the website, select all, goes back out, make sure that you have the latest and greatest licenses, pulls them back down, and then make sure that everything is up and up and going and everything is fine. Okay. So activate, reactivate if you've purchased some new licenses to go, go check and make sure they're good. Then you can go to License Usage tab, make sure everything's up and going. All right, so now let's go ahead and do an upgrade. I've already got this installed, and we've got users that are connected to it. It's no worries. Uh, we may have a little bit of a time where the, the license manager... Solid Networks License Manager is consistently running right now, but it'll have to be stopped and then restarted. So it is better to do this you know, after hours or at lunch, sometime where people are not using the system, uh, because you may want to stop the service while we do the upgrade. So let's take a look at the upgrade real quick. So I'm going to go into SolidWorks 2018, Service Pack 3, go into my SW License Manager directory, just run the setup. Once it starts going, um, it says, hey, look, you have the old license manager available and uh, you need to make sure that you upgrade it. So I'm going to go and say next. Now, before I do this, I'm, uh, it will warn me. I'll go ahead and say install. And you'll notice that it says, hey, one of the services can't be updated while it's running. So you may want to go into your services, go ahead and stop that service. Go ahead and run it. That's going to put the new service on there. Uh, we'll set it to automatic and everything. And again, less than a minute, this thing's up and going. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit refresh on there. And the license manager, we can go ahead and start that. Now, the first time that I run the, the network license manager, remember, I'm on a new service pack. So when I'm on a new service pack, it's going to tell me to activate. So I do want to make sure that I activate and I have those latest and greatest licenses. And they are for that service pack and version. All right, then everything should be on. We can check the about, make sure we're on service pack three. We are 26.3, so that looks good. And now you're up and going. All your guys are connecting to the new license uh, manager and you're good to go. So one other thing that I did want to uh, go talk about real quick is uh, if you're using PDM, we have a lot of problems where uh, people aren't logging out of PDM. So we want, there is an options file that we can create and we can make sure that some of the, uh, the contributors or the viewers are uh, able to uh, automatically log them off in a certain amount of time. So say for instance after 30 minutes uh, then I want it to automatically log them off. So how do we do that? Well we go into modify for the license. I do want to reactivate, activate. And I'm going to check the box here for an options file. Uh, I'm going to leave it the default and when you hit edit it's going to automatically create that. I'm going to say yes and it's going to put it, the little option file on there and then we have to tell it what to do. Now here's the deal, if you have CAD editors, then it's this CAD editor web, so what it's called, contributor, 
is contributor and web. And then we have viewer licenses right here. So if I want to time out, so I'm just going to copy these guys, paste them in my options file, and of course save it. So just to kind of explain what's going on there is the if the CAD editors are inactive for uh, 3,600 seconds, which in this case is uh, one hour, 60 minutes, uh, it will automatically log them out. If it's a uh, contributor uh, and web, then it's going to be, in this case, 30 minutes. If I want to uh, have a viewer, then go ahead and add timeout, space, viewer, space, and then whatever their timeout is. So I want viewers to time out in 30 minutes as well. So again, save that. Um, go ahead and close it. That way it's going to add that to the license file. Go ahead and run back through the licensing. Because kind of what's happening is grabbing those two serial numbers, combining them. Now it's combining them with the options file. And then now I automatically have the, the logouts for that. All right. So hopefully that should answer all your questions. Uh, if you do have more questions, then feel free to go to the Go Engineer website. Uh, you can search online here with our little Google search called Ask Joe, or you can just go straight to our tech support. But hope this helped. If you have any questions, let us know. Thanks. This is Steve Darcy with Go Engineer. Mm -hmm.